I was 20 years old when I first sustained my injury. I was working just part-time in a sawmill in the town that I grew up in. Uh, it was before morning coffee break. I'd only been on shift for a couple hours and I, I don't know exactly what happened, but I got my hand caught in a hydraulic chop saw and it took off my four fingers. Um, my name is Stuart Chase. I live in Vancouver, British Columbia, and I am a partial hand amputee, as I have been for the last 21 years. Good boy. Come on. I was in school at the time as a college student, so I had to drop a couple classes to be able to deal with all the rehab, that being emotional and physical. Uh, there was mental rehab to be done there as well. Um, and the next year was just a uh, patchwork of figuring out how I was going to live my life with uh, all the missing digits. There was some initial prosthetic work that was done a few months after the injury when uh, things had healed up well enough to be able to entertain that idea. And initially when I went to look at prosthetics, I ended up with a bunch of prosthetics that are just basic curbs that helped me do specific singular functions, but nothing like what I have today. So the last 20 years has really looked like that. I've had a lot of different prosthetics that do singular things, but, um, and ultimately, you know, you adapt. You appreciate that maybe nothing's gonna get better than this. And so brains work in amazing ways and you adapt to the uh, circumstances you're given. And I did that. Uh, I spent the last 20 years being adaptive in my environment. When it came time to get the naked prosthetics device, uh, it, it was really emotional, actually. You don't know what you've been missing because you've adapted, and to have this type of function back in my life, it just felt like there was a new door opening, and all the stuff that uh, I didn't know how much I missed being able to do, I was able to do again. You know, as simple as picking a pen up off of a counter or holding onto a glass and a bag at the same time. There's no shortage to the day-to-day -day activities that I could tell you about that this prosthetic has um, allowed me to do. Walking the dog in the morning, I can do that with a leash in hand and a travel mug of coffee in this hand, which has just been awesome. I think one of the most impactful things that the Naked Prosthetic Device has brought back to my life is just the return to everyday things that I could do with both hands. And whether that's picking up a cup of coffee or holding my daughter's hand, which is just the most natural thing in the world, that's been the greatest impact of this device on me.